Alright, this is like the third time I'm trying to record this without a fucking phone call interrupting me. This is Dragon Power from Nintendo Entertainment System. Dragon Power, aka Dragon Ball, the mystery of Sh Shinling or Shaoling or some shit like that. Okay, first things first, these cutscenes are the slowest thing ever. I'm gonna translate how I see this. How do we search? Use this! Dragon Radar! Now! Let's go! I mean, like, it's the slowest shit you'll ever see. So now you walk around, you punch your generic dog, demon, whatever the fuck these things are. I'm sure they play out a role in Japanese mythology or, or, or Kira Toyama's manga. I've never seen him in there, but, you know, who the hell knows, right? Okay, so now you got these little cave things that you can find all over the place. Some play vital importance, some don't. Uh, these things spit out random items. I always get this, the uh, staff and that floating rock thingy, which means you have the, uh, wind wave, a.k.a. Kamehameha, but, uh, Kamehameha wave, I'm sorry, but they don't call it that in this, because the translation SUCKS! Okay, anyway, this is the first problem I have with this game. These sequences blow chunks. They literally do not work. I'm gonna show you why. Look at that. I wasn't anywhere near him and he manages to do damage. It's like if you're anywhere in the vicinity of the enemy trying to kick his ass so you get tired and he starts swinging away. What you don't realize is the entire time you played this game, your life is just slowly ticking away. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. It was not a good idea. Here's more text. Oh no. Did she get caught? And look at the arrow. It's not even pointing at Goku. That's a sign that these people really spent time doing working on this game. Not to mention the translation staff. Oh my god. And look how slow these things are when they pop up. You literally will be halfway across the level when the stupid things show up. Now look at this shit. Look how much damage I just took from basic enemies bumping into me. They don't attack, they just walk right into you. I hate to see what happens when Goku goes in, in a fucking street with traffic. And later on you do go in a street with traffic. You go to the moon and all over the goddamn place. It does follow the storyline of the... The, the manga and anime slightly, but it's just the translation. Here again. Hey, please, help me, please. Uh, you know, it's like the slowest thing you'll ever see. The whole time you got this music playing in the background, giving you a fucking migraine. You got no life, you could really use something. You barely ever will get what you dare something I needed. Now I'm a 38. Wow. Big fucking whoop. You need like 200 just to beat this boss without dying. So there's no chance in hell I'm gonna beat this boss at this point. Because I know the level's just about over. So you wander around. You fight these random enemies. You can use tricks to your advantage. And then you got this interruption again. Oh! That isn't a joke! No, it isn't, you fucking whore! Stop interrupting my game! And my review! Anyway. So... You do all this crap, the door finally opens, you're looking for one of those secret entranceways, you can't find one, you got 50 life, you need at least 150 to beat this boss coming up. There's more text. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine! But, get that band of keys! Couldn't they just say bandits? BANDITS! Instead of a fucking other line and dragging his shit out! So now you gotta fight this fucker, it's basically the same thing as the other one, except he swings a lot harder. And, I mean, you fight- it's a bumblebee up there! Look at my life, look how fast my life went down. And half his attacks didn't even land. If you're standing anywhere near the enemies, and then Goku goes into a seizure or masturbates, or whatever he's doing, and that's it! Game over! So, if you happen to beat that, you run into a turtle, who's, you know, Master Roshi's turtle, if you've seen the anime or followed the manga, Swift Cloud. Yeah, Swift Cloud. Oh, God, I hate this game. Uh, Master Roshi asks for a panty, she gives it a, not in this, though, asks for a sandwich. Bad translation, bad censoring here. Crystal Balls or Dragon Balls, yada, yada, yada. Pudgy is Oolong from the, the manga or anime. It, it's terrible. The translation literally does not do justice to this series. Not the greatest series of all, there's more about Pudgy, and if you find him, it says, and the woman says, if you manage to beat him, I'll give you Crystal Ball. That's how bad this fucking translation is. So now you have to find this pig while your energy's slowly ticking down, and now you got these crazy bitches who could drain your life instantaneously if they bump into you enough times, and they're always showing up at the worst fucking time. This game is the only game I know of that literally tries to kill you. 
does not try to let you pass the levels. It's designed to piss you off and kill you. This, look at that. I missed with the fucking wind wave. Uh, Kamehameha. Kamehameha. God, I hate this game's translation. Okay, so now I wander around the village. We have to go into every one of these fucking houses to try to find this fucking pig. There he is. So now you gotta trail him. Now you gotta chase him elsewhere. Hit him enough times and you'll get to the next part. I didn't make it. I'm not gonna make any excuses why I didn't make it. I got my ass kicked by a game that just did not want to help me try to win at all. Plus, I only can do 10 minutes, so, you know, I'm not gonna show you the whole game anyway. This is a long game. This, that's something I had to mention. This game is really long. You've been playing this for, like, six hours, and you still won't reach the end of it. Most Nintendo games didn't have that long a run unless they were an RPG. This game, I think it had 12 hours of gameplay in it. All bad cutscene, all the same crap with the hitting people running around. Random elements like this. These stupid bitches just popping out of things for no reason whatsoever. Pigs floating around. Insane hammer dudes. Now my life is down again! And now I can't find health. I get this stupid thing firing at me. I barely touched anything to damage. Now I gotta deal with another crazy bitch. And this is basically the end of my travels here. See that? Instantaneously. I thought Goku was some massive kung fu master. Gets his ass kicked by a, a woman. That's how stupid this game is. God almighty. Dragon Power, interesting one. If you like bad subtitles and crap gameplay, go for it. Otherwise, avoid it like the plague!